Okay, episode 233, the continuation of uh, Elizabeth's, I guess, origin story and comeback of Sakamoto. Space Ururun Homestay and yeah, the, the invasion of the Earth. <laughs> Half a year ago. That's how long he was shown. <laughs> Man. But from the looks of it, it was like a massive army, so... I wonder if it's just going to be Sakamoto and them. this is this the old man who died who had the funeral or something or is this totally a different different people So the invasion has already begun. Oh, it's not Ketsuana. Ana Hana. <laughs> Look at Sakamoto's ships. Yeah. <laughs> and he's so happy about it. Dark bed. <laughs> Why is it barfing? What's going on? <laughs> After an hour of silent dealing. <laughs> What were d what was the what was the deal about? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so they were talking during that time. <laughs> he was raising. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Man. Sakamoto. So it was his fault from the <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is such an idiot. <laughs> Knowing he <laughs> he also fought <laughs> during the Amanto War. Good thing Sakamoto had so much too. But that is really um uh, brilliant a, a really I guess smart plan because they if they can't communicate just placards so they will be in this array yep but I think this is the first time we're going to have a space battle a taste of the, <laughs> the Amanto war that we haven't that we I guess I've been asking for but not the <laughs> and I've expect, expected it to be like this What happened to Katsura? <laughs> I don't think they need that anymore if now that they've somewhat turned everyone into Elizabeths it's really cool seeing this aspect of the space kind of aspect of this world because we rarely get this scene More, it's more all about what's happening oh the, <laughs> the Elizabeths costumes are really cool <laughs> so that's how he he fainted. <laughs> 
So it was still like count counting ship. I didn't get that at first. Zora's a bit. Gin's a bit. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to Kai? What happened to Shinpachi's costume? Did <laughs> you? <laughs> He's a unique Elizabeth. <laughs> De <laughs> At least it's unique. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> They're sacrificing Shinpachi. <laughs> oh, poor Shinpachi. <laughs> the glasses. Dark Vader. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. 
They have lightsabers. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird dish <laughs> maybe it's not really What if it's edible? Edible. They want a different game. <laughs> Only cows. <laughs> Are they going to rise in ranks? This is a showcase of how. Oh, it's El Elizabeth. General Erin. Oh no, he blew the cover. Summarize. Oh, that's such a cool shot. What if, what if Dark Vader isn't really an Elizabeth? What if he's someone from a different species that he's just trying to use this Elizabeth as tools?
white devils. A Gundam? <laughs> and they censored the face to avoid the copyright this. <laughs> Man, Darth Vader is Darth Vader is very powerful. He he also ha, he also doesn't have a Death Star. He also have a Gundam. <laughs> Man, this episode is getting crazy and crazier and crazier. Man, but it's uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, my suspicion is that maybe Darth Vader isn't really an Elizabeth uh, Aren from Renho Drive. And uh, yeah, it's it's it also I really like the 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 scene where he was using lightsabers <laughs> as well, and uh, yeah, like <laughs> I guess they have, they have Gundams now, <laughs> so yeah, I guess <laughs> I guess the Earth doesn't really stand a chance, and and man, <laughs> but man, the body is exactly like the original Gundam, so yeah, but I think we they've already shown a full Gundam before. I'm not sure, but. Yeah, I guess they don't still have the full rights or um yeah the the permission to use it fully <laughs> but definitely that that's <laughs> that's so obvious that's so 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 exa almost exactly like a Gundam so man this episode <laughs> this arc is getting better and better and yeah them disguising as Elizabeth and having cartridge Nintendo games cartridges as um snacks so yeah at the same time I think El uh, Elizabeth what was his name um I forgot his name Eren Com General Eren so maybe Elizabeth's real name is Eren so I guess um yeah I think he knows who they are and I think that's why he's trying to take them in and I think he'll, he'll he'll be the one who'll be like a vital thing that will um help help the earth but things are getting much more challenging now especially now that they have Gundams they have a massive army they have they even have a death star so yeah I wonder how they will be able to pull it up. I guess I guess death star this death star also has a, some kind of um some kind of weakness that once they um, destroy that it will it will re uh, it will just destroy the whole Death Star but they have Gundams so <laughs> this will be exciting to see um, and yeah I think this is the first time I don't think we I think we rarely see any space battles from Gintama before so this is a, a whole different um, place in that they've they're exploring with the, the Gintama world where where I also said before that I hope they also explore different places aside from earth especially that this is not just um about Japan or the earth as a whole it's more about like a galaxy type of uh, situation type of world lore world building so Gintama is a massive world that now that we're seeing and that now that also we're so I want I wonder how they will be how they will make it somewhat more intense the the upcoming invasion from Takasugi and um from Kamui if they're going to do this so cuz I I I never expected them to do this and I think I was expecting this kind of invasion thing to happen with um Kamu and Takasugi but I guess you can't really take this arc that seriously especially um, with what we're seeing <laughs> but yeah I guess it's somewhat like a taste of what's going to happen it's really cool that they have Sakamoto as well because I think in the in terms of space battles and technology I think Sakamoto they need Sakamoto's um, fleet in order to be able to deal with that but in terms of battle of hand to hand I guess swordsmanship or uh, just plain old um, fighting um, I think Gin has that the Yorozui has that but in terms of um, warships or space spaceships I think they need Sakamoto for that and silly cool that they're showing that here 
And at the same time, Katsura being part of that. So, because uh, from the Kabuki district for, with the four devas, Katsura was not involved. I guess it's not really much part of that Kabuki district. So, but yeah, um, it's really cool that that a lot of people that I was hoping to be part of this kind of scenarios are now included, especially Sakamoto with um, also the connection with him being the one. <laughs> Man, that was really <laughs> he's really stupid that and yeah, n- now they're also uh, trying to um, bring back all the his characteristics that he's uh, he's the kind of pilot that has motion sickness, which is crazy and yeah, he's really <laughs> he's really an idiot that he's the one who he's the one to <laughs> he's the one who introduced the the this all all of this to be the, the he made the Renho tribe make their their invasion much easier because of him. So yeah, and uh yeah, they're really now much more also, I I just uh, noticed they are much more, um, more open now to dirty jokes <laughs> compared to before, and yeah, um, at the same time, yeah, I wonder how they will play out. But I think eventually, um, because of um Elizabeth and because of what I forget, the, I don't think they mentioned her name, the F- Fujiko girl. So I think they will be the ones who's really. Uh, find no those the weaknesses and all the ins and outs of this place so for them to be able to overcome this situation that is if they're going to face head on they i think it'd be really impossible so yeah but knowing that uh the three legendary the three veterans samurai veterans of the Manto war but i would really be interested in um seeing gin fight dark vader <laughs> with those lightsabers that would be really cool so yeah, that's what I'm hoping to see in the next few episodes. Um, yeah, and I guess maybe finally um, learning more about uh, Elizabeth's character development, his origin story, where he really came from. So, yeah, and I guess at the same time, the Renho. Because I think Dark Vader, from what we're seeing not right now, he's not really he doesn't really care about the Elizabeths the the Renho tribe. I think he has his own goals and I sense that he's not he's not from the Renho tribes. Maybe he's someone else. Maybe he's from the um from the Harusame from maybe he's like uh trying to manipulate. The same way with um I forgot the name that one of the captains of the the one who was manipulating the the one who was manipulating the scenarios from the Four Devils arc. So maybe it's a possibility that, that Dark Vader is a captain of the um Harusa. Maybe he's he's a Renho from the Renho tribe, but he's working under Harusame. So that's as a possibility. So yeah, those are my thoughts in this episode. If you would like to share your thoughts in this episode, just leave it in the comments down below. And if you think I have missed some details or maybe some um easter eggs or or callbacks just let me know in the comments as well i would really appreciate that and if you did enjoy watching my reaction please leave a like and subscribe if this is your first time here so you'll be updated whenever i upload my reaction videos and thank you again for watching see you on my next video and if you want to watch my reaction to the next episode it's also now available on my patreon it will really help support this channel just go to the link in the description down below and see you in my next video have a great day goodbye